Hi everybody, it's me, Anthony, and I'm here today to walk you through the steps of getting your document camera all set up with your computer so that you can use it with your students in class. So the document camera is over here. When you first receive the document camera, you probably got it all wound up like this. It was all kind of just put away with the head in its little hidey hole there. Um, so this is what the document camera looked like when you first got it. You should have probably already set it up. If you haven't already set it up, you just pull the head out of the side of it and then move the arm up there. And then you're just going to adjust the document camera head to where you feel like you want it. The um, arm here is very flexible, so you can put it in almost any position that you would want. So I'm just going to center it over this document here that I have that I want to share with the class. The cable that connects the camera to the computer is this one. It's a black USB one. It's got a funny looking end that looks like this. Um, I've got a bit clearer picture for it for you in a handout that I'll, I'll attach with this. Uh, but it's kind of taller. This is the end that's going to go in the projector and then this is the end that's going to go into the computer. So I'm going to do that now. When you connect it to your computer it should make a sound saying yay it's connected. Um, which it did, so that's a good thing. Now I'm going to kind of open up the software that is on the computer that you're going to use to project it. On your Dell laptop, you should have a program called Sphere 2 installed on your computer. When you open that up, it should automatically connect to the document camera and display what's underneath the document camera, which it is right now. So I have that all set up there. I can maximize that, and as you can kind of see up on the projected board, um, it's showing the same stuff. So it's projecting up to the board because it's connected with an HDMI cable to the projector on the screen there. So you want to make sure that you have your computer projecting to the screen so the kids can see it, obviously. So uh, I've got the document here underneath. Uh, there are some buttons on the sides of the document head. On the left-hand side, if I'm facing it, it, there's a rotate button here. So if I push the rotate button, it's going to move it around. So if you notice that the paper underneath that is not showing up correctly, then uh, you just need to rotate it. There is a light, so if it's showing up dark, then uh, you can add the LED lights underneath it, which give it a little bit more light. As you can see, it kind of created a glare on this particular document. This is kind of a glossy paper, so it does create a glare sometimes, so keep that in mind if you have something covered up with uh, that's laminated or something that's in a sheet protector or something like that. There might be a little bit of a glare, so you can keep that light on and off. You've got a screenshot button here that'll take a picture of what's underneath here and then display it, uh, save it as a photo to your computer, which is a nice feature. And then on the other side, on the right hand side, you've got the AF button, which stands for autofocus. So that's going to just make sure it's focused. If it's showing up fuzzy, you can hit AF and that's going to um, focus it. Then you've got a plus magnifying button that's going to zoom in, a minus magnifying button that's going to zoom out. If you're using the document camera with a Chromebook, you can do that. You can connect it to the Chromebook. What you're going to want to do with the Chromebook is you're going to want to open up the camera app. So let me grab a Chromebook and I'm going to show you what you're going to do with that. Okay, so what I've done now is I've switched the document camera over to the Chromebook. So I plugged in the same USB cord into one of the USB ports on the Chromebook. And uh, when I do that, there's no Sphere 2 app on this computer, on the Chromebook. So what you're going to use instead is you're going to use the camera app. So what I do for that is I'm going to go down to um, the, the main bar here. And it, if it's not an app that's showing up right away, if you in the search bar, if you just type in camera, it'll pop up there. And then what I would recommend if you're going to use the document camera a lot with a Chromebook is you want to pin that to your um, bar down at the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the camera and I'm going to click on pin and that's going to keep it there so that it always shows up. When you log into the Chromebook, it's always there and available to you. So right now you can see that it's showing just the webcam, which is its default, obviously, because it recognizes that first. But what it's doing with the camera app is it's recognizing the document camera as a second camera. So to switch cameras, you're going to use the switch camera button, which is right here. I'm going to click that and that's going to switch over to the document camera. So I have that there. Now, what you notice initially here is that, let's see if I can make this bigger. No, uh, right here. Okay, 
So it's backwards. So that's not helpful at all. So in order to fix that, there's a button here in the camera app on the Chromebook that's going to reverse the image. So it's this one mirroring. It's called mirroring. I'm going to click on that and it's going to flip it right over. Now the other thing that you probably notice is that it is a little fuzzy. All right. So there was that AF button on the side of the, on the, of the document head right here. I'm going to press that. And that's going to help a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't automatically autofocus on in the Chromebook. So when I hit AF, it's going to help there um, a lot. And I can also add the light on if it needs a little bit more light. Same thing, there is a little bit of a glare there. But there are some other buttons on here that won't work. So the rotate button doesn't work. The um, screen capture button doesn't work. And that's just because it's not interfacing with the Sphere 2 app that it expects in the laptop uh, with the Chromebook. So. Um, just because the buttons don't work, though, it doesn't make it unusable. You can still project it up to the screen and do all the things that you would expect to do with the document camera. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you need help with this or any other EdTech tools in your classroom, let me know. Happy to help out at any time. Hope you have a great day.